my god, it's harder than it looks, Simba. Uh, in fact, probably don't do it. Oh, that's oh, good. That's they're good. in amongst us. That's good. <laughs> oh no, Eric Hartman happens to be here. That's terribly bad luck. Hello, valued viewers. I hope you're all doing very well. On the 15th of May, 1944, Austrian Luftwaffe pilot Karl Wienborger stole a rare G12 variant of a Messerschmitt BF 109 and flew over 400 miles from Germany without any maps to defect to the British. He appeared over a Norfolk village and crash landed. He was injured but survived and spent the rest of the war as a prisoner of war. You guys have asked us to reenact this. Now we could do it accurately, we could take off, we could fly for 400 miles unassailed over the course of three hours and land in Britain. But we like to spice things up a bit in GR, so we're going to do an alternate version. So in our alternate version, Wienborger is stationed in Paris. He's having a good game of bowls with some of his pals in the Luftwaffe when he breaks his ankle. It's very unfortunate but he still wants to defect, so he sends a telegram to Britain, asking if someone could come and pick him up and take him back. Now, as you probably know, Grim Reapers are pretty stupid, but in World War II, we were even stupider. And consequently, good old Winnie Churchill sends the mission to us. Guys, we are to take off uh, near Eastbourne in southern England, fly 160 miles to Paris. We will home in on the Eiffel Tower. This is the designating meeting point for Wienburger with his damaged ankle. Look, you can see him right here. We'll swing by the Eiffel Tower, pick him up and be straight out and back to Blighty in no time. But because we've refused to plan ahead, we've forgotten a few things. First of all, Paris at this time in the war is sprawling with German AAA guns, so that's going to cause some problems. But even worse, and you could say rather unfortunately, it just so happens, based five miles away at this base here, is Eric Hartman's BF-109 squadron. Eric Hartman, if you don't know, was the world's or history's largest scoring fighter ace. Once he detects we're in Paris, he will take off and 14 of his buddies will try and shoot us down. In the mission, these will be AI set to max skill level. We'll do our best, but chances are we'll probably get shot down. If you do get shot down, then parachute down into Paris. Try and not be spotted. Once you land, use subterfuge to blend in with the local Parisians. A basic grasp on the French language will help here. Your next task is to find and assail a German officer. Take his clothes. Next, you must find a vehicle. Find a Parisian vehicle. Steal it. Once you've stolen the vehicle, meet up at the designated meeting point, which will be on your pocket maps. You can see it's a church here, noted in red. I will pick up Wienborger from the Eiffel Tower, and I'll have him on board. Once we're together at the church, we will set off five miles southwest for his airbase, where we're going to try and steal some aeroplanes. To do that, we have to get over the railway. It's guarded at all checkpoints. It just so happens, guys, 30 years ago, I studied GCE German at school. This should be enough for us to pass as Germans, so hopefully we can get past the checkpoints without fighting. Once we get to the airbase, and assuming Hartman hasn't strafed us by this point, which I'm sure he won't because of our subterfuge, we need to get past the sentries. There are 100 highly trained sentry guards. These are from the higher echelons of Wehrmacht. I doubt my language skills will pass me as a German, so we'll have to blast through them, guys. As soon as you can, once you are through, get to the runway, where conveniently are an entire squadron of assorted German aircraft, hot and ready to go. We must try and sweet talk the crew into letting us take these warboats. Basically, we need to convince them we're German pilots. Now, my GCE German from 30 years ago may play a part in this. Once we're up and airborne, we form together, defeat or maybe better evade Hartmann's squadron, evade the AAA, 160 miles back to Blighty for spam sandwiches and a nice sit down. That's the mission, guys. I personally don't see any problems with it. Uh, predictions? I'm excited. Hmm. Old Churchy Poo couldn't bless us with one of his speeches? No.
we're going to make history. Welcome in, viewers. Here we are, my band of beautifuls. We have mosquitoes, uh, a P-51 and a P-47. Simba, please lead us up in a left orbit uh, so we can form. And let's do the freaking mission. I have no idea if the runway's long enough yet. Uh, I haven't tried it. I hope it is. Oh, you guys make it look so easy. Oh, come on, Simba. Come on, Simba. <laughs> the runway's not oh, long I enough. I clipped a tree at the very end. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Oh, I just realized I didn't start us on the runway. I started just on the... I was yeah. going to say, you, you, you weren't even on the runway. Yeah. Well, as you know, viewers, we're highly professional. So, Simba, just getting another one and do take off where they're taking off. It's on the right. The runway's on the right. Well, would they should mark the runways out better, shouldn't they? Go on, Mustang. Go on, must. Oh, my God, you missed that by a gnat. Genitals. Speaking of genitals, when I speak to my baby, I've been told I have to use the proper terms for his bits. I find that so weird. Hi. I do. The first time I took my granddaughter to the bathroom, she goes, Oh, boys have penises. Yeah, right. I found that so uncomfortable. It was. What a great uh, start to a video. You not watch that video where that young lad explains the differences between boys and girls to Arnold Schwarzenegger? No. Good old kindergarten cop. Right, super cap rolling. No idea how to take this off. Probably do a thing, I imagine. Like riding a bike, viewers. Like riding a freaking bike. Wow, the runway really is short, isn't it? Airborne. Right, where are you, Simba? Is that you flying into the sun, Simba? Different. All right, Simba. Most of them got a track on you. Can you please set course for one six zero? Copy. Ah, got my freaking window open. No wonder it's so cold in here. Oh, that's better. That is better. Welcome back, viewers. That was a rather interesting ferry across the water. And as you can see, Baba, that is the French coast, guys. Ooh la la. Ooh la la. Indeed. Did you say French toast? Uh, I'm hungry. Oh man, that would be nice right now. Oui, oui. 50 miles or something inland now. Uh, we caught our first glimpse of the Eiffel Tower through the clouds. It's about another 20 miles. So a few miles Simba and then I think lead us through the souk and we'll try and find it. I personally don't see what could go wrong. That's probably why we got hired for the mission, boys. Our inability to see things going wrong? Yes, also, no one's blown their engines up yet, which I'm kind of happy about, and is a surprise for all of us. Oh, I can smell the baguettes. Mm. I smell the French perfume. There's another- right, I think it's time to yeah. start going down through the sea. Yeah, 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 right. It, theoretically, it should be on the nose, so good luck, everyone. Wienborgo, we're then, coming for back you. On the throttle just so we don't overspeed in the dive. I see the Seine. The, um, we're pretty much on vector for the Seine at this angle, which is good because the Eiffel Tower is near it. I'm just following my nose. Huh. Buttery croissant with some ham and cheese inside of it. You got it. You got it. Right, try not to crash into each other. I don't want to go all this way and freaking hit each other. Oh god, everything turned white. Yes, it did. Oh no. I can't see, Cap. Is this the end? Oh, very possibly, Simba. Aha! Oh, right, who can see the Eiffel Tower? Where is it? Because I can't. Off. Off to our left somewhere. Roger, looking left. Yep. Visual, visual, Little visual. Left. 10 degrees left, Simba. Oh, that wasn't dangerous at all. All right, let's go, 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 go. Well, amazingly, the AAA hasn't shot us down, so that's one good thing, right? Uh, oh my god! Trying. Oh my god! It's it is firing. Um, viewers, viewers. Right, I would suggest some slight minor evasion, Simba, as we get there. The rest of you, get your asses down here. I've got a job to do. I'm not getting paid by the hour. Jesus Christ! This AAA is thick, thicker than Mama San's leg hair. 
speed. Yeah, speed and power, Simba. I am speed. Jesus Christ, if one of us doesn't get shot down, then I'm a friggin' clown. You know, Cap, mm -hmm. good way to evade the flak is just fly through the Eiffel Tower. I love it, they'll never think of that, Simba. Right, I've got to get an angle on it then. Wow, one of you's way ahead. All right, here we go. I'll show you how to fly through the frigging Eiffel Tower. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's harder than it looks, Simba. Uh, in fact, probably don't do it. Oh, that's oh, good. That's good. They're in amongst us. That's good. <laughs> oh no! Eric Hartman happens to be here. That's terribly bad luck. Right. Guys, I'm in. Oh yeah, right. I'm right in the thick of it. Get some. Yes, sir. Only one thing will make me better right now. Uh oh, fire's hit. Going down. Watch up. Parachute. Blend in. Subterfuge and all that. Ah. Taking some hits. It's all good. But I'm still airborne. Visual, visual, visual. I'm coming, Simba. I will save you now. Wow, you've got literally all of them on you. Oh, shit. You know when I said all of them? I meant all of them. Oh, get out, man. If you have to bail, bail. But look cool when doing it. Oh, Jesus Christ, someone just went smacky boom boom. I think I've hit all of them. Spray it out, Simba! Bail out for God's sake! I'll distract them. Hartman's got blood in his nostrils. He lost at a local Parisian dance competition last night. And he really feels the burn! Ouch! I'm gonna stall. No, I'm good. I'm good. I've been in worse positions than this, viewers. <laughs> oh my god. That's Mr. Lionheart, man. No, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'm getting out. Right, remember your training, guys. Use subterfuge. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Is anyone still airborne? In my parachute. Yeah, right. All right, viewers. Uh, bonjour, madame. Oh, I just found a car down there. Bonjour, madame. Je suis super cap and I need uh, le fromage. Avez-vous un soir? I think it worked, guys. Right, I'm going to get my pilot gear off. I'm going to go and find a German officer to accost. Stand by. Welcome in, viewers. We've accosted our German officers. Mine was called Helmat, and uh, he didn't see it coming. Um, we're in our vehicles, and now we've got to find our way to the church. Remember, guys, check your pocket map, and you'll find a church to the south-west. Uh, That's all the advice I have for you. I got myself a lovely porch, as you can see here, viewers. Real beast of a vehicle. The F-15 of uh, ground vehicles in World War II, you might say. Handles like a dream. Ooh, I got a photo of a lovely lady on my dash. Ah! Right, viewers, as you can see, over there, Hartman's still airborne and he will strafe us. So, tactical driving. Luckily at Grim Reapers, we're all highly trained in tactical maneuver driving. So we should be fine, I think. Slam in a J-turn at any point, like that. Look at that. Frigging pro. Bollocks! Mine's making panky noises. Panky noises? I think someone just swept by me the wrong way. Uh, <laughs> um, it's all about subterfuge. It is about subterfuge. Keep them guessing where we're going. That's the word of today, guys. Subterfuge. Oh, I've got Weinberger on my on me, by the way. Viewers, he's in. You just can't see him. He's very small. Well, I've not been strafed by Hartman, so I'm happy. Uh, it's a national cheese holiday, bank holiday in uh, France, so there's no drivers about, as you can see. No civilian drivers. So I see the church, which is convenient. Oh, come on, I can't get to it. Get out my frigging way. Oh, man. There we go. Luckily, I'm an excellent driver, viewers. I'm at the front yard of the church, guys. I will freaking see you in a minute. Don't take too long now. Just gotta hang a right at the uh, belly. Wow, one of you's in a friggin' tank. <laughs> Who's in the tank? <laughs> Watch out, tank. Straight over the top. Didn't even see you. That's my boy.
Oh, you put in a tactical J, J turn. Nice. Right, oh, the boys are almost here. Woo woo! Who's in the Kubelwagen? Simba. Didn't mean you found yours. Friggin' yours is, makes 50 knots. Amazing. Right, you're going to see the steeple soon, Simba. Oh, straight into a ballada. Bellagio. All oh, right, this is the right way now, Poosh. So get from your point of view. Oh, hit roadblock. Poosh has hit roadblock. <laughs> That's a you problem. Aha. Uh -huh. First truck, who's arrived? It's me. Welcome. And a bot. All right, Poosh, you're the other side of the church, so come around the church. All right, Simba's just arrived in his cupola wagon. Well done, Simba. Just waiting for... Ah, uh, watch the paintwork. Thank you, Simba. Just testing the physics engine. And testing the uh, rear end for stress fractures. Poosh, are you coming? I am coming. Right, right, Poosh is here. Where are you, guys? Cannonball, I'm issuing with orders to get us to one of the checkpoints at, in the south at the railway where we'll formulate a plan to sweet talk our way through. Let's do this. The half track lead? Yeah, you're yep. in the rear, Poosh. Right, go Simba. I uh, should be on a main road right towards the checkpoint. All right, let's do it. Now, get to it, but not in line of sight of it. I'll, gotta, I'll have to brief you when we're there. You a lovely day for a drive through Paris, I think you'll agree. Oh, plane just overhead. Yep, yes they are. Right, I'll take the lead. I did GCE German, so I think I'll be able to pull them. <coughs> Hello, meine Freunde. Wir sind Deutsche. Um, it's working so far. Können wir bitte Deutsch gehen? All right. I think they're receptive, guys. Oh my God, we're getting shot. Go, 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 go. Charge them. Hop, like a bunny. Yes, that's the one who's Guys, follow me. I'm taking hits. Yes, I said it hits. Real life Möchten hits. Sie ein biscuit? They do not want to speak a biscuit. All right, come on, guys. Oh, we got one's coming after us in a friggin' motorbike. I take a left, left, left. And now I'm taking a right, right, right. I've got to get into this industrial sector. Yes, I said it's sector. Jesus Christ, these guys have got a good aim. I've never been so stimulated. Oh, Simba, that just took a major hit. I'm taking a left here. I think we'll be good. All right, guys. Ich bin safe. Who's the motorbike? It's the motorbike one of That's us. Fair. Where have you That's been? Me. Where have you been this whole thing? Oh, well, I've been off sightseeing. Jesus Christ, I didn't even know you were part of this. Right, fires it. Well, hurry up. Right, where the hell is Simba? All right, Simba, you should have visual on us. Why is Poosh not? Poosh is smoking. Hurry up, Poosh. Poosh is still taking hits. All right, boys, welcome back. Well, I think it's great that um, Fire joined us. I didn't even know. Is, are we getting shot still? Yes. Oh, sugar. Right, let's go, oh. guys. Right, Cannonball, lead us to the airfield south. Go, go, go. And get a step oh, on. We've got a few miles. Yes, Cannonball, can I help you? Well, as soon as I find the airfield. Right, I guess I'll do that as well. Right, F10. Poosh is in red health. Uh, right, it is. Break. Two, two, zero, for four miles. Right, get a chug on Poosh because you're smoking. Like a biatch. I'm in uh, top gear. Full Good. throttle, 15 miles an hour. <laughs> Poosh! So that's that's a transmission. You need to slow your trans your, lower your transmission so you'll accelerate. Well, like I said, no American trannies here. Giggity. And fully demonetized. Is that you cap in the little wagon ahead of me or is that Simba? I'm that in a hot, Simba. No, I'm in the Mercedes. I'm in the little thing. I know, that's amazing fire. I'm glad you picked one of those up. I mean, it's brave and flamboyant, but you know. It gets all the girls. It, uh, right? Yeah, they want to go on that frigging thing. I think the damage has slowed me down. I only oh, get up to 25 miles an hour now. All right, well, you two suckers can get there in your own time then. I'm going. Simba's just frigging gone nuts. He's floating Planes up overhead. Planes are... Harmon! Harmon's here! And that's why I'm not hanging out with you guys. Ship! Sorry, fire! Oh. I was looking backwards at Hartman. Uh, you'll have to figure that out yourself. It's kind of every man for themselves at this point. Hartman's on us. All right, don't panic. That's what my mother always taught me, or something like that. He's coming fire again! Push me. He's right ahead. Where is he? 
Jesus Christ, this guy is insatiable. The subterfuge isn't working. Did the train tracks take us all the way to the airfield? I just know we've got some sweaty friggin' Germans after us. Where have you gone, Fire? Oh, I'm, I'm still here. South. Yeah, but the train tracks go the right direction for a while. That'll do then. South and a bit west. I'm here, Simba. Oh my god. Oh, I did a friggin' tactical J turn. Are we following the train tracks? Is that what we're doing? Going I, left? I think so. Everyone's kind of got a different idea. Lovely bit of Paris. Look at the undulation and the terrain. What do you think, guys? Oh, driving on these train tracks is interesting. There's a road right next to it, you know, Simba. Oh, scratch that. A thing happened. All right, I'm on the train tracks as well now, guys. Where is this friggin' airbase? And why is this mission so friggin' hard? Look at that, viewers. A lovely, lovely bit of Paris suburb. House prices must be astronomical here. Ooh, nice little valley with some trees. To provide some tactical cover. Uh-huh. Right. Guys. Although I'm going to have to hit the F10 map here in a second. Yeah, I'm slightly worried that Simba's navigating. All right, I've got my Horch maxed out. I'm feeling good. The sun's beating down. We're in suburbs. We're in wine country. I think we've beaten Hartman. I haven't seen a Jerry in ages. Considering Hartman was on the eastern front, we must be wrecking his... His, yeah, uh, he was on holiday. He was on holiday. Uh, apparently, somebody didn't pay attention to the intel brief. He was in town for a dancing competition. It was in a there town, a Parisian dancing competition. Why wouldn't you scuff up all of your battle plans for that? It's not all about bloodlust and killing, you know. Dancing competitions and bowls competitions. Jesus, Simba, this gets real sketchy. If we fall off the edge here... All right, you need to make a left. Watch out, I'm following you, so... All right, I'll pull yep. Simba up, finally. I hear Hitler wore a lovely dress at that dance competition in Paris. <laughs> and not demonetized? I don't know. Right, so from us, it's now 210. We'll be there in no time. Right, when you're at the airfield, Simba, wait for us. We need to charge across the border together. Look at this, viewers. Isn't a lovely bit of... We're not in the suburban here anymore. We're now in the proper proper wine country, look. I want to go and friggin' squash me some friggin' grapes. On my bare Parisian feet. All right, I'm shifting. All right, you, can sit, you can stay on this road all the way until there's a T-junction. Look at Simba, how Simba's changed. He's doing the navigation for all of us now. I reckon since the incident, he spends like three hours at home studying maps every day. Somehow, we've got to get Poosh across the border and he's slow and wounded. Guys, look at the top right under your compass. It'll tell you your hit points. I'm at 71%, read them out. Cannonball 72. Simba 84. Competition, is it? Poosh 39. 69 for 69, fire. 69, baby, your best number. All right, we'll stay on this road, and the next T-junction we come to, we will come to a full stop. Yes, sir. Look at this for immersion viewers. I'm in my friggin' porch, right up Simba's bot bot. All is well. This proper initial D. This is proper fast and or furious. And I tell you, my brother's car was in Fast and Furious 10. They used it as one of the cars. They paid him all the money. I was Trey jealous. What did he have? A uh, Nissan Silvia. Very nice one. Oh my god, Simba. Don't worry. I'll carry the flag, Simba. Uh, T-junction's just up in front of you, Cap. Noted and here. Right, I'm stopping. Oh my god, how can I navigate through this mess, through this muck? Oh, this is it, Simba. Right. Let's have a look. Simba is here. Next, it's fire. It's Mr. 69, as I call him. Next is Cannonball, who is horrendous. Oh, 30 knots, really? 30 knots. And next is Poosh, even slower. All right, uh, I guess we wait. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, most of us are here. We're just waiting for uh, tracked guys. We've formulated a plan. So, good news, Hartman's men have just run out of fuel and a landing. Yeah, that makes our job a hell of a lot easier. They should have taken something with a bigger fuel tank, I'm afraid. That aside, we need to get from here, through the centuries, here, to the plains, there. Simmons devise a plan. What we're going to do is we're going to go in as distraction. We're going to go to those oil drums there, regroup, then push through with our speed. Meanwhile, Poosh, who's really damaged, is going to go down this road here, through there, cut through there while the sentries aren't looking. We're going to meet up here. We're going to sweet talk the US carrier techs, and we're going to try and get our planes. Cannibal appears to be carrying all of our Mausers as well. So we can fire back, maybe. All right, once Cannibal Hi. is here, we can lead the charge. Simba, are you going to navigate it? Right, sneak by Simba, and we're just waiting for the big man. We'll all press the hill together. Ah, how are we getting through the fence? How are we getting through the fence? We can't get through the fence. 
Can someone squash it? Yes, we can! We can get through. Oh, I'm so clever. Oh, and I see the oil drums. Right, we're just waiting for Big Boy. All right, let's go. Oil drums. Go, 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 go. Poosh, when you get here, sneak around the back. That's an hors d'oeuvre. All right, viewers, this is what DCS was made for. You're taking hits, Simba. Just go, 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 go. Any, every man for themselves. God damn it, these Germans are accurate. Oh, shit, Simba's snurking. I'm going to come and take the hits for you. I'll push you, Simba. I'll push you. Oh, my God. I'm in you. No, I'm good. Simba, get my car. All right, Simba's in the haunch. Come on, you bucket frigging move. Go, fire. Go, 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 go. It's the only way. Let's friggin' do this! Evasive tactical J-turns! Ow. They hit my engine. Ah, mehr benzene! Mehr benzene! I'm still uh, good! I may or may not have blown up. You'll be fine. You're in my car. I'm still good. Someone lost my health. 19%! Help! Cruel, guys! Cruel! Oh, my God! Um... Uh, right, get out and run. Mm, I'm chug, 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 running, running. Right, I'm in the grass. They're still shooting at our wagons. No, the... Oh, yeah, they got... It's good. Cruel guys on your bellies. Germans can't look down, remember. Use that fact. I'm crawling. Oh, this is so armor three. Whoops, that was one of you blowing up. Don't worry about that. It's just a flesh wound. Right, I found the squadron of fighters, guys. Come on, they'll never see us coming. All right. Sip of tea. Mm. Right, just got to prepare the pallet. Uh, hello, wir sind uh, Floigmeisters or some such. And we have Das Krieg to go and win. Uh, can you please allow us to go and get in the uh, things? We're ready to go. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is just my work job. All right, come on, guys. Let's get suited and booted. All right, viewers. Uh, Hans and his crew, Hans Gruber and his crew have got us started in our wagons, as you can see over there. Where's our blown up vehicles? There they are. They're good. Let's check on Hartman. Suck it down, Hartman. Most have landed and the others are... S oh, there's one landing up this airfield. They're coming to strafe us. No, they're really coming to strafe us. Go, 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 go. Right now. Not joking. Rounds coming in. Shit. Come on, boys. Wow, that wasn't scripted. Right, come on, let's go, 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 go. Gear up. Uh, right, I'm just running, guys. Or are we fighting? Are we running or fighting? Running. Right, running. Where's England? It is northwest, isn't it? Northwest. Right, get your whip on and friggin' boot it. Right, which one's at us? No, one's diving in on me. Someone blew up. Right, I've got ahead of everyone. That means I'm less likely to get shot, which is good news. I can't check on the F-10 map. All right, I'm going to climb and look on the F-10 map, see what the chuck is going on. Oh, there's only one that's following There's only one that's following us. We can dogfight him if we need to. I don't know. Fire, for God's sake, turn left a bit. You're going near to friggin' Paris. Look, you can see the Eiffel Tower there. All right, Simba's gone back to dogfight him. You do it and make sure you win. The rest, he's set to A skill level, by the way, and he's low fuel, so you won't. But come on, let's go, go, go. Flak is a thing, too. All right, get away from Paris. Yes, visual. I think one of the yeah one of the guys that crashed was AI. It must have been AI. Suits us just fine. Simba progress. Uh, just luring him on a merry chase. All right. Oh, Simba's still back uh, with matey boy. Luckily, Simba. No, the rest are coming out. Shit. The rest are coming out for us. Found cannonball. Yep. Two Jerry's right after us. Christ, viewers. I'm using a bit of whip up. Oh, Jesus. Heading down. Wow, these are really accurate gunners. Simba's still going. The rest of us are... Oh, we're good. They've all gone for Simba. Well, Simba's going to die a horrible, burny death. But the rest of us, we are going friggin' home. Who's the guy who's friggin' zoom climbing? Oh, that's me. All right, fire, I'm chasing you. Don't use your whip. Simba killed one of his guys. How? How? Spitting, gritting a lot of spit. Apparently he used some spit and some grit. Right, I think we chose the right man to stay behind. The rest of us are... Oh, save. Look at Hartman's knobhead. <laughs> I think I can see the friggin' sea. No, no, I can't. Which is an autopilot. I could go back and watch Simba. I'll be Shaba Kain. Oh, no, yeah. Simba's... Yeah, all right. You've done your womanly duty. Do the honourable thing and put your face into something. 
Oh, he's not going to let you die peacefully, Simba. Huh. How about that, guys? If you get lost, just be a part of the same, guys. It'll take you to Calais or Dunkirk or somewhere in France. All right, Simba's putting it down. A nice, peaceful landing without being harassed by Hartman. Oh, sorry, Go steal been. another one, Simba. He can't. He didn't do GCE German like I did. Welcome back, viewers. Uh, about two-thirds fueled, and I think, I think, I see the sea. I do, I do see the sea. Yay! Welcome back, viewers. Uh, we are just about to run out of fuel. These planes don't go very far, as it turns out. We let Simba respawn, wherever the hell he is, because he uh, did well. There he is behind us, because he did well, and he's just catching us up. Uh, the rest of us, if my beautiful navigation skills which is nearly as good as my GCE German. All right, we should be nearly home. Can anyone see the freaking base? Which one are we going to? Uh, I think it was so, Freeston, wasn't it? The one on the coast. Can't you see it? Oh, I do see it. All right, guys, you know what to do. You're gonna do it, do it freaking sexy though. As the uh, Air Force song goes, live in fame, go down in flames. Huh. Nothing can stop. I've literally got two litres of benzene left. Knowing my luck, I'll run out just before. It's us, the Grim Reapers. It's us, the Grim Reapers. Don't shoot us down. You know, what, does anyone know what the international sign for uh, I'm coming in pieces? Is drop your landing gear. That's here. right. Drop your landing gear. When you're slow enough, drop your landing gear. Signal to them that we're friendly. We are the Grim Reapers. Oh, no, it's the base we took off from. Look at that, viewers. Aren't we clever? Right. Here we go, viewers. I'm going to... Probably try and get in first. Does anyone remember how to fly this plane? There we go. Claps dropping. Claps are dropping. Woo! What is maximum gear extension speed in this thing? Um, less than I did because mine appeared to be falling off. Oh, well, one of you is landing already. That's Her on final. I'll put your wheels out if I were you, fire. I mean, it's optional, but wheels make better landing. Or don't. My wheels are out. All right. Graphical thing. In that case, put it down this style. Huh. Like that? Uh, sure. I'm alive. You're alive. That's good enough for me. And the Grim Reapers as a whole. Can you check if my gear's out, by the way? Because I'm not very confident either. You should hear a rumbling. No, your gear's out. And all this sexy. All right, three point up, viewers. Three point up. Come on, give me three point. That was a two point. That's it. Hello, fire. How are we? Today? Hello. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, big bounce. I bounce. Big I bounce. bounce. I bounce. Broken back. It's still good. You're good. Yeah, Supercat, perfect landing. I'll take that, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. oh, the fucker. Go round, Simba. You brought too much speed in, I think. Nope, that's not me. Roger, someone. Good man. Cannon's down safe. Great landing cannon. That was better than mine. Unless you stack it right now. On approach. Mm-hmm. Made it back, Simba. Well done for sweet talking the Germans without your GCE German. Come on, Simba Wimba. Land that biatch. She bounces like a biatch, by the way. Tailwheel is unlocked in the 109 by default. Yeah, my friggin' boy. Right, we're just waiting for who is it in the thingy? Poosh. Right, well, you're the friggin' warbird expert, Poosh, so land good. Right, here comes Poosh. Right, put that sucker down. This feels fast. Yeah, Poosh is in a funny mood today. Driving his horse strange. Landing at 500 knots. All right, my bad, my boy. Oh, Jesus Christ, Bush. All right, but well, you committed now, so land it. Oh my God. <laughs> well, he hopped the fence. <laughs> He's still Did he good. dodge all the trees? He's still good. <laughs> no. He'll be fine. He'll yeah, have like he'll a. Fine. He'll have like a cut fingernail, but he'll be okay in the morning. All right, viewers. I can't even remember what we're doing now. We're rescuing Tim Hood Hornenberg. No, who was it? Jazz Beefenberg? No. God damn it! I've got to choose my look at my notes again. Hang on. Carl Wienburger. Uh, he's very grateful. Luckily, it wasn't in Boucher's play. <laughs> uh, I vote we get rid of the evidence. I'm gonna literally gonna just take it off the edge, Simba. Watch this. I'll show you how to frig I'm gonna take it off the edge, and then I'm gonna um, eject. And flaps off. Simba's out. I'm doing it even sexier. I'm friggin', I'll show you how to friggin' get they rid of some- Oh my more. god, I- Oh! Oh no, it's still good! It's still good! 
It's a little on fire. I'm still good. Yeah. It's near enough getting rid of some evidence. I mean, I'm gonna Mine's up, mine's up, mine's up. Wow. Oh, and crash. Oh, <laughs> but it was going back to Deutschland. Huh.